Well, folks, uh, with everything that's happening in the world today, we've all got to take care of ourselves. So uh, what I've done, uh, I've borrowed my dust mask from work uh, to see, well, to basically to go and out and about in and uh, hopefully not catch this uh, illness that's going round again. So what I'm doing, I'm going to drive this van to Morrison's and do a bit of shopping. Uh, I'm going to drive it while wearing this mask to see how comfortable it is and if it's any good. Uh, it's got a strap that goes around the back these are detachable so when these filters are knackered you can read you can change them and put new ones on it's got a head band that sits on the top of my head and holds it in position while you are wearing the mask and uh you know this might be the future if we don't get this problem under control so I'm just going to drive into love, bruh. Luke, I am your father. Let's see how it is. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to wear it in Morrison's, but I'll see. Probably not. Right, I'm just going to carry on driving. There's nothing coming down the road. The roads are pretty dead. I must say, when they bought these at work, for the visually impaired, I'm wearing a mask. Uh, when they bought these at work, uh, we all got fitted out. It was, uh, we all had to go in, we all had to be clean shaven. So if you've got a beard, you're knackered. We've got Graham at work. He's got a big ZZ top beard, so he hasn't got one. I think they were on about buying him a full head of uh, one of those like uh, biohazard, um, just straighten you up, like a bio hood thing. Uh, the only problem with this is I can't touch my nose and my nose is itching like fuck at the moment. But apart from that, it's quite comfortable. I don't know how much these are. I would think they're a, a steady price. But, if this is how it's going to be for the next few years, we perhaps do need to start looking into uh, buying these. Well, fucking camera's moved again. Uh, we ought to be looking into buying these and uh, reusing them again and again you know to save the planet as well as well as the population to be fair it's quite comfy roads are empty for a Sunday morning not a lot about I've got to do Morrison's because we're about out of milk, we're about out of bread. We've only got a bit of butter. And we need some fruit. And a few other things because obviously I'm working a couple of days this week. So we need to stock up. This isn't a, an essential trick to Morrison's. Morrison's open at... Uh, 10 o'clock so uh, I'm not getting there well I am getting there early but I've got like things to do we're having a Sunday dinner later on for about half past 12 so uh, there's no traffic about it's unbelievable unless people were on the piss last night and they're all on over. Just go by Devolve, they make kitchens. Kitchens, not chickens. How many of you thought I said chickens? You don't make a chicken, do you? 
but you do make a kitchen. So driving into Love for now, and I've got uh, now Coach is it Coach Road? No, it's Nottingham Road, isn't it? Is it Nottingham Road? I think it's Nottingham Road. Can't remember. Uh, just coming up to the brush, going under the bridge of the Great Central Railway. Did you like it when I do videos when I'm driving around and you can see where we're going? Mind you, I can't fucking do that now, can I? You go out your house in your van and you got the old bill number plate checking you, then asking you what you're doing. The tips over there, where you take your tip stuff, your rubbish. Well, that's been shut for God knows how long. It's going to be a nightmare when we all start taking stuff to the bloody tip because it's just going to queue and queue and queue and there's going to be more people there than there would have been if we had a bloody sh had it shot. It's going to be a comp They're all about booking. They're all about booking the time to go to the tip. Fuck's sake. No wonder everybody's dumping stuff in country lanes, all the fucking tips is shut. Right. Just gone by the brush and the train station. The train station where I met Robbie Knox. Rod Station Boulevard. Sitting at the traffic lights, folks. Don't know if you realised I'm not driving at the moment. Well, I must admit, the mask is quite comfy. I'm beginning to feel it a little bit round here, around my podgy cheeks. Uh, but it's all right. If this is, but this might be the future. In fact, really, if there's nothing happening now on the roads, why don't they just turn all the traffic lights off? Brilliant! And just, like, paint some temporary, uh, give way signs, so we're not just sitting there, uh, waiting. I'm just joking there, folks. Don't think I'm being real there. Right, we've got a few, uh, we've got a car across the road, uh, Land Rover thing, is, is he going to look at me fucking gone out? Because I know I would, if I saw somebody wearing one of these I'd look at them gone out, but like I say this could be the future, this could be the way it's going to be, people wearing these kind of uh, masks. Going by Butteracre Lane, I think that's where Loughborough used to play football many, many years ago. And uh, the old Loughborough Town Football Club actually hold their record win was something like <coughs> their record win was something like 9 0 over Arsenal. And I think their record defeat, or Arsenal's record victory, is uh, 9 or 11 nil against Loughborough back in the day. So, look that up on the internet. Arsenal's record win, I think it is anyway, Arsenal's record win and uh, Arsenal's record defeat. I'm pretty sure they're against Loughborough. And I'm in the wrong fucking lane. I should have gone that way. Own bargains over there. There's no pigeons or seagulls on the roof today. Got easy storage over there. I'll tell you what, this mask ain't too bad, folks. I was thinking of making a mask out of uh, June's knickers, 
because I think you can make masks out of pretty much everything at the moment. So uh, I was thinking of cutting a pair of June's knickers up and putting them on my face, but uh, I think uh, walking around wearing a used thong would have not made me look quite kinky. So we're going by the sandy cliff. Not many people out. Oh, fucking hell, the ring of bells is shut. How long's the ring of bells been shut? People of Loughborough who uh, live around here, uh, how long's the ring of bells been shut? Fucking hell. I've just realised you probably can't really hear me, can you? It's probably all just a muffled mess. Right, I'm on the Derby Road Island. Uh, I'm turning left up to uh, Bishley. And I'm on the old uh, Warwick Way. Not Warwick Davis, but Warwick Way. I've gone by McDonald's. Milton Street, just going by that. Brandon Road, oh there, that's where the flats are. Got my bags fell on the floor. My recyclable bag for life. How many times do you go into a shop and you get to the till and you think, oh for fuck's sake I've left the bag in the van. Unbelievable. Oh, I've just burped and it stinks in here. Oh, God. Maxwell's? At least that's open. Right, so now I'm just going to turn left into uh, Morrison's. I see diesel's at 111.9. Uh, Fuck knows how much that's going to be after this is all finished. Then we've got to pay for all this free stuff. It's going to be a fucking nightmare. Well, are we queuing? Are we queuing to get in? Oh, I do not know. I'll have a look when I get there. I do like Morrison's. It's alright, it's good. Right, I've hit the curb. Right, folks, I'll get on. Oh, no, let's take this off. Right, let's see what I'm like. Uh, right, so I don't know whether it's left a nose around my mouth or oh, it has, it's left a bit of a mark. Oh, hold on one second. I'm reviewing a mask. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I think that's all right, but it's left a bit of a soreness around there. But we'll see, folks, we'll see. All right, ladies.